Correct. So, would you believe it? This is our tenth show. We're now officially in double figures. Thank you so much for all of the support and for watching us over the last few weeks. And do please keep sending in those emails because we really do appreciate um, our it. Our guest is Wayne okay. Hatswell, uh, Cambridge United International, even uh, now with Wayne. Obviously, spent uh, a couple of seasons here at Rushton as well. Um, Wayne, welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's always a, always always a pleasure to have the old boys uh, the old boys back. Um, obviously now at Cambridge and tremendous season um, at the moment. Can you catch Burton? Well, I know it's obviously a great win for us last night. I think we're eight points behind. They've got obviously they played tonight and they've got some tricky games coming up. I think they've got to play uh, Torquay twice towards the end of the season. Um, they've got to play everyone in the top six. I think at some point. So you know if if, if they can do us a few favours and. I, th I think we've got a chance. We've got a good, we've got a good running, and it, it, could, it could go to the wire. I think. I'll give you an interesting stat here for you. Go on, then. Is is that <laughs> Andrew? Please come on. <laughs> we'll, 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 you can join in in a minute. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, an interesting stat here that uh, over the years gone by, someone said to me the team that after I think it's somewhere like nine or ten games was top of the league was the one that gets promoted. And guess which team was top after it's that nine or ten? Ah, so nice. whoever's at Christmas apparently never makes it. Mm. That's, uh, hopefully that's a good It'd omen be interesting, for us. That. Yeah, it means absolutely nothing though, doesn't it? It means absolutely nothing because <laughs> you've got to get the points on the board. But if you'd have said, uh, what, a month ago yeah, with true. Burton that you would yeah. be eight points behind them, I mean, they were 12 and, and clear, weren't they? But I think, so. I, I've never really, you know, you look at Burton and they're, they're well organised, but I've never really thought that, you know, they're that much better than, no. than, than everyone else. We, we played them obviously recently as well. And, you know, maybe, maybe that's a big important factor with Nigel going. Mm. Um, somebody mm. sort of told, you know, Warren McParland's obviously a very good manager and that, but perhaps he, he's maybe let them take mm. the foot off the gas yeah, a I little bit. Right, yeah. And the players probably think, you know, we, we don't really have to win this mm. game. And there's no pressure on them, but they can't really <coughs> no. turn it back on again, you know, when they need to. And they've got some big games coming up, and uh, hopefully for us, our momentum's going now mm. where we're doing right. well and it's a good time. But I think, that's, well anyway. I think that's it, you know, goal last night, late on, yeah. gets you the win. Same yeah. with Stevenage, yeah. I mean, mm. Stevenage at the minute are piling, piling yeah. the results together. Yeah. Um, and when you're on that run, it, it takes you, it it takes you forward, just, doesn't it? Like I said, it's just momentum. You know, you get yeah. one or two and you keep going, you keep going, and you get into the habit, don't you, of, of getting results and you keep yeah. pressing. And like I say, Stevenage, uh, obviously Cambridge, I think they're the teams that are going to be, and, and Burton almost get into the... Opposite, don't they? Yeah, they but, do. Yeah. I mean, Torquay are not, you know, they win last night, but I mean, Torquay are, are sort of having a little a stutter. stutter. Wrexham are having a stutter. Yeah. You know, um, obviously Kettering can come up on the rails, but they yeah, still win those be, games, it's so it's open, big, eh? It could be a couple yeah, of big yeah. teams that might not even make the playoffs. Mm. Yeah. And if, say, if I think Torquay are getting it, but you know, they'd obviously had a little bit of a stutter up in Wrexham, they're a big, big club. Mm. And oh. if they don't, if they feel if they don't get in it with the run they've had, they're, they're a huge club. Well, they've they invested as well, haven't they, in players, haven't they? Back, straight back up, yeah. We need to talk about, obviously, the 12th man at, uh, at Cambridge and uh, a, few, a few words there. I mean, tremendous support this year. I mean, the crowd's up oh. over 3,000. I mean, they've yeah. been absolutely fantastic. It's a, it is a little cauldron there, isn't it, it is really? It is a cauldron, mm. yeah. We, you know, last night, for instance, we, we was obviously uh, playing the second half against, you know, into our fans and at, at times they just, they just sucked the ball in. In, we obviously got a good goal straight after half time, and we just lifted the crowd. And there was only going to be one winner, really. But 
um, they do. They they, they yeah, suffer for, all for away for away yeah. teams. It's horrible. But I hate yeah. playing at Cambridge. The yeah, fans are really hostile. And yeah, which is great from home supporters. Uh, yeah. from for home players, you know, it's really you know you, you go and take a corner and you just get an abuse and yeah, you are. It's, um, well, here, you say here, you're just it? a home player. <laughs> no, I never mentioned what that. You, you said I hate playing away. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I hate playing at Cambridge. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. that's it. It's, it is a, a you know a tough place to go. Mm. You know, and our record this year speaks. Speaks volumes for that, but I think even, only even away from home, it's you know, like even when we played here at Rushton, and uh, the, the support mm. we had here was unbelievable. And you, were lucky you can that imagine, day, we were lucky, yeah. And <laughs> you can imagine the you know, like at Histon, we turned that into a home game, yeah. it's, it's unbelievable the support they give us. We're talking about sucking the ball in the net. I suppose we've got to mention the uh, one of the hats wonder strikes, yeah, I know. For, for Histon, yeah. It Did was, you mean it? it? I did mean it. Yeah, <laughs> Are you I, sure? can't believe it. I can't believe you say that. <laughs> but well, it's a, the only reason I say that was there was a bloke going <laughs> <laughs> when you hit it. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, it was nice to see it go in. And I, I'm, you should have seen me last night. I'm shooting from everywhere. Now. <laughs> uh, was it like the first ball? Yeah, like, when did like you hit that wonder yeah. strike before? Um, I think a few. There was uh, one, the one free kick one there at Cambridge earlier. It started off actually four rushing. You think that's what I'm saying? You hit a wonder against Berry. Berry, that was it. What a wonder strike. At Berry, that was and not that, that Johnny Methog, wasn't it? It was uh, in the mud. I thought didn't it not start Forest Green that goal when he put it in the stench? From well, yeah, <laughs> not that one. I did score against Forest Green, oddly enough, uh, last season, and that was shown on on the Satan, I think, and and that was a that one goal of the season last year. Did it? Yeah, for, it was a forty yard. Oh, was that free the free kick? kick? Yeah. yeah. And then I got a little bit of a thing scoring against Forest Green, or obviously in one net and and, <laughs> yeah. and in their net as well, so. Uh, you featured on a few sort of DVDs, haven't you? Yeah, sort you of can four and against. My, you can find my name readily on YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> it is, just put it that way. I think it was right. It was the second best done goal of all time. I I'm, I'm gutted it's not finished first. But, uh, it's, it was brilliant. It, I think it, over the years it was top. It was top two. Yeah. yeah. But then I think over lately well, it's, got time, it's got you? to get top five. I think and it's dropping. <laughs> you got a couple of years but left, think, didn't you? I mean? think Gary Lineker needs to. You know, plug it a little bit. <laughs> it was a great finish. <laughs> there is time, though, isn't there? You've got a couple of years left in the legs. I, I, I feel I've got a couple of years left. Yeah, definitely. So there's there's time I'm, for more goals. I'm definitely, you know, I'm uh, not feeling my age as as such. But well, young men don't mind, do no, they? No, that's it. I'm, I'm, there I'm are younger well, younger players about that probably look older, older, exactly. and move <laughs> older. So, talking of that, we got um, our our chairman. I found out yesterday Ooh. is. 34. Excuse um, me, I, I just think the believe. wife's calling. <laughs> I, I forgot to get the milk. Uh, the chairman, is it? Oh no, it's a. Uh, really? I've won the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he's obviously the chairman I found out yesterday. He's the same age as me, so they're obviously the chairman are getting younger now oh. and the players are getting oh. older. But Surely uh, two of you can't be 50. Well, that's it. I think. Maybe that's my next uh -huh. my next job. Yeah. I don't know. Chairman, the, the, the next youngest chairman. Yeah. Well, we'll come on, we'll come on to that one. Um, do you think it's probably the most successful period of your career at the moment? Obviously, Cambridge are really flying. Um, you're England captain. You know, you had that spell yeah. last year. Are you feeling sort of um, that you know it's a yeah, it's uh, a good time for Wayne Hatswell in football? Yeah, I, I've I've really enjoyed it. You know, I obviously I left you know I left Rushton and um, it was. I can't say it was dis you know obviously it was really really disappointing we went down that year that for me that's the 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 lowest point in my career because I thought we we did enough that year to stay mm. up and and I'll never ever forget that goal that um uh, Dagnall scored against us for Rochdale when we were winning here one nil and that would have yeah. got us out of the bottom out of the bottom two and and that, and that sticks in my throat and and obviously that's the last time I tasted league football and and obviously since Leaving, you know, the club's obviously been hard to get back into the league, and, and it's so difficult. And it, not, I can, I, I nearly tasted it last year, getting to the playoffs, and obviously going to Cambridge at, at, in January, which was a bit of, not a, obviously a little bit of a surprise. And I thought, right, I, I got a chance to get back in the league again, and that that was, you know, obviously a, a gut a gut wrench for me losing at Wembley, but. Um, this year we kind of I thought right it's going to be our year again and I always said if we had it if we were I looked in the fixtures I thought if we were there or thereabouts in February I've said it before at the start of the season I, I thought we'd win it mm. um, I just hope we haven't left it too late but 
you know, it's going to be an exciting seven weeks, I think. Mm. And but I think if I if I can get back in the league, great, and it, it will be the best time of my career. Then I will say that if it'd be the best move I've ever had. But you know, if we don't go up, it it could be one of them near near say things. Yeah, um, Wayne Hatswell away from football. We 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 can look on Wikipedia and we can find out <laughs> yeah. about you in football and what have you. Take Wayne Hatswell away from football, uh, and I remember speaking to you when you were here at Rushton and we we were chatting about the future and what have you. Obviously, you're keen on your coaching. Yeah. Um, and if we forget being a chairman, yeah. a manager first. Yeah, I definitely. Um, you know, my 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 attributes haven't changed in that way. I want to do. Um, hopefully, I'm on the the A license this year, and if I can get that while I'm still playing, I think there'll be a a big factor in me trying to stay in football, which mm. I want to do. Uh, I've you know I've stayed in it long enough to to for it to run through me blood a little bit and I lo you know I love the game and and I I can't it was something that would keep me going because we we missed the game out on a Saturday over the obviously where the bad weather came and w <laughs> I couldn't play football obviously that weekend and the girlfriends took me shopping and I said that would never ever happen again <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I've got to try and stay in football that's gonna <laughs> keep me going and it, it, you know I, I want to try and do things the right way which I said before uh,